In today's video, we're going to go over how to mirror your screen to the TV on the Google Pixel 3a. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, first of all, thank you for watching. Second of all, if you can hit that like button at the end of the video, if you find the video helpful, leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell and turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So this video is going to be all about how to mirror your screen to your TV. And I'm going to show you how to do it in two ways. So some people want to mirror exactly what's on the screen right to their TV. Uh, maybe they have photos from a vacation that they want to show the family and they want to show it on their big screen. Or maybe you have a video game that you play and you want someone to watch you playing the game on a big screen. Or maybe you want to just see yourself playing on a big screen. Whatever it is, um, that's one option. The other uh, group of people say, I just want to show Netflix or Hulu or YouTube. I want to play it on my TV from my phone. So I'm going to show you two methods to do this. Um, because one method is more efficient for one group and one is for the other group. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. To do this, uh, you will need, first of all, Wi-Fi. Um, you will need home Wi-Fi, so you, you won't be able to do this over your mobile data. So just disclaimer, you will need Wi-Fi to do it. Second, you will need either a Chromecast, a Roku, or a Fire TV device. Um, to do it as well. So you need a streaming device and you will need Wi-Fi to get this done, just as an FYI. I will leave a link in the description below in case you do want to purchase a Chromecast or Roku or Fire Stick, any one of those devices. If you're trying to do this mirror thing, you don't have the devices, but you want to do it, just buy from the link below and you'll be able to then follow the steps in the video and mirror your screen right to the TV. Okay, so let's jump right in. The first thing we're going to go over is just a straight I want to see whatever is on my phone screen on the TV and that we're going to do through the Chromecast. Now Chromecast is the only device of the three that you'll be able to do a straight mirror to mirror. If you're just trying to send video from your phone to the TV, you can do it with the Chromecast, Roku or the Fire TV. So just disclaimer there. So what you're going to do is swipe down from the top. You're going to pull down again and you're gonna tap on this little uh, pencil right here. And that's gonna show you some other options you have to put on the notification panel. And what we're gonna do is just hold down the cast icon and we're gonna drag it up here. And now that we're done, just hit the back button and it's gonna create a new page. That's where your hotspot's gonna go. But you'll see the cast button right here. Go ahead and just tap on cast. And what's going to show up is a list of your streaming devices. And in this case, you can only cast to a Chromecast. So here's my Chromecast and I've named it Office TV. Go ahead and tap on that. And now you'll see my screen is mirrored directly to the TV. Whatever I do on the phone is going to show up on the TV. Um, you will be able to rotate it in certain apps, but not on the home screen. So now let's say I want to open up YouTube. Here's YouTube, I can rotate it landscape now and I can see it right from here. And I can play a video right from here if I want. Now again, the other method I'm gonna show you is a little bit more efficient for showing videos. So just FYI, but uh, either way, I'm just kind, of, just kind of demonstrating what's possible. So again, I can mirror whatever is on the phone to the TV. Um, no matter what app I go in, let's say, um, I wanna go to Firefox. You could browse the web. Maybe you're trying to book plane tickets and you want the whole family to see and make a decision. You could, you know, search it right here together um, from your phone. You can basically, again, anything that's on the phone is going to show up on the TV. Uh, I don't have any games on the phone, so I can't demonstrate a game. But uh, a lot of people like to use this for gaming or different things like that. When you're done, you're going to just swipe down and you should see in the notification panel. Sorry, it's a little blurry. Just notice that. Let me clean that up so you can see it better. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. So in the notification panel, you will see um, this option. It will say casting screen. Just tap on the disconnect button below and that will stop 
the phone from mirroring to the TV directly. Now the other method, which I think is the better of the two methods is going to be um, just doing a, uh, it's a different type of cast, but you do it within uh, the particular app that you're trying to use. You don't do it from the notification panel. So let's say I want to play again. I'm going to go back to the YouTube example. I'm going to YouTube and I want to play a YouTube video on the TV. Now, the problem with the, the, the first method is that because you're always showing what's on your phone on the TV, you can't use your phone while you're playing the video. That's why it's not the most efficient method. With this method, we're going to be able to play a video from the phone, but continue to use the phone to do other things. So let's say I tap on this video here. Today's video. And in the upper right corner, I'm going to click on the little cast icon. And I'm going to choose the device that I want to cast to the TV. So, or the, the streaming device that I want to use to cast the video to the TV. Sorry, I'm not sure if I said that right the first time. So I'm going to do the Office TV. So this is my Chromecast, but I could also do it to the first option, which is the Roku Office or my Fire TV Cube, which was the third option. We're going to do Office TV. Give it a second to connect. And then you'll see that now YouTube is playing uh, on the TV. Just give it a second. Okay, so we'll uh, play the video. It's going. Now I can then basically go back to my home screen and I can do other things on the phone while the video is playing. Uh, unfortunately, in this video, it's a little bit of talking. So the video is playing, but there's not really anything happening. So. Oh, there we go. You guys can see it now. So this is why I like this method a little bit better because it will allow you to continue to use your phone to do other things while the video plays. So and you can do this basically in any video app, just about any video app will have that little cast icon. So now if I'm done, I want to stop it from casting. I can just swipe down and you'll have the option in the notification panel and just hit this little X next to the play pause button and that will stop it from mirroring to the TV. And again, this will work with other apps. So if I just um, do Netflix, for example, in Netflix, you'll see the little icon in the bottom right corner right here. Tap on it. Again, select your device, Office TV. And then you'll see the TV is going to switch to Netflix. And then I can hit play on whatever I want, and then that'll begin to play on the TV. So I've got some Stranger Things season three loading up right now. And again, I can go home and continue to use my phone to do other things um, and not have to worry about being stuck because I'm mirroring the whole screen. So when you're done, you're gonna basically swipe down. Uh, for Netflix, it works a little bit different. I'm gonna have to tap on this first and then tap at the, the bottom of the Netflix app here and then tap at the bottom where it says Office TV and hit disconnect and that'll stop it from mirroring to the TV. So those are two methods to basically mirror your, your screen or and also to send video from your phone to the TV. So I try to be very thorough on these videos because I know this can be a little confusing and it just, I always want to make the point that it depends on what you're trying to do. Again, if you're trying to show pictures or show a game or show a certain app that you like, then you'd want to use the first option, which is again, swiping down and using the cast button in the notification panel because that will mirror the whole screen. But if your goal is just to play a video from your phone, then open the app first, look for the cast icon and just hit the cast button. And then you can just send the video to the TV, but still be able to um, use the phone and do other things while the video is playing. So I hope that was thorough and I hope you guys were able to follow that. Once again, I will leave links in the description of where you can purchase a Chromecast, a Roku or a Fire TV device. Um, and I also will leave another video on how to set up a Chromecast as well. So in the event that you purchase one and you don't know how to set it up, I will have a video for that as well. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Leave a comment down below if you found the video helpful. And also, on the next screen, you'll see a little green circle. That is a link to our new site. 
It's called Tech Made Easy, and we have other tech tutorials that are uh, catered towards different tech devices. So check it out. If you seem like the videos would be things you'd like to watch, hit that subscribe and show us some love, and stay tuned for more. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.